Well, let's see now. I got my wall behind. Got my three plants. I got a plant. Got my shovel. Got my Maddox. Got my old truck bed to put mulch in. I got water. I got my salad for today's lunch. I checked the mailbox. The dogs and the cats are all fed and watered. Good morning, friends. How are you all? This is Wesley coming at you from Maryville, Tennessee. Or Greenback, but I'm headed to Maryville to work. Because that's where I do most of my work. Except one day a week I work in Knoxville. It is 926. I did get up at 3 o'clock this morning again. You know, I can't sleep too good. I'm not going to complain because I know there's a lot of people who don't sleep very well. My daughter, I know I've got at least two children that don't sleep good. And my mother did not sleep well at all. She only sleep an hour or two at a time. Um, and that's the way I am. However, what I'll do today is if I, I'll do a job and if I get too exhausted, I'll sit right here in my seat and take a 10 or 15 minute power nap. And that helped pull me through real good. Today I have to spread three yards of mulch, cut three small trees. And when I say small, I'm talking about, you know, six inches in diameter, maybe 20, 25 foot high. Not a big job. And uh, I don't have to haul them. All I have to do is put them to the road. I need to mow one yard because I had to walk behind today and tomorrow I won't have it. I'll have the 61 inch right and the 72 inch Ferris because me and Mariah's got a lot of big yards to do tomorrow. I mean big. So we need the two big boys to, to knock it out. The walk behind is 61 inches, but it can't, it does not have the speed that the Ferris has. I mean, the Ferris will literally go at least twice as fast. And yes, um, that might be too fast for some yards, but on these big fields, when we get, you know, we can, I can almost open it up to about 10 miles an hour on some of these bigger ones. And so that really helps. And the, uh, the most speed that the walk behind has is I think it's uh, rated for five or six miles an hour. So you see it's twice the speed and where the Ferris has, uh, the Ferris walk behind has a 20, I think it has a 20, 23 and a half horsepower engine. The Ferris has a 37 horse. So I mean, it don't bog down at all when you're going through that tall grass. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Oh, by the way, boy, I forget. Sunday, either at 8 p.m., or if I can stay up, if I can stay awake till 9, maybe that's why I get up at 3, because I, it's hard for me to stay awake till 9 o'clock. When I come home, it's like eat and go to sleep. It's pitiful, but if I get home at, like yesterday, I got home at 5.30, I think it was, when we finally got home, and by probably... 8 o'clock, I was asleep. So that's one of the reasons I don't sleep too good. Because I sleep, I go to bed early. But I can only sleep all my life I milk cows. And I I go to work at 2 o'clock in the morning and get through with my work by 8. So that's a 6-hour shift. And then I go back to work at, a, at 1 o'clock and get off at about 7. So, um, say two to eight, what is that? Six and then one to seven. Yeah, that's another six. That's 12 hours a day. And I did that for years and years and years. And then I worked that split shift. I would catch naps in between. And of course, my longest nap was, uh, usually in the evening. I'd go to, I'd lay down about nine or 10 o'clock. And of course I'd have to get up at one thirty in order to get to work and get the cows in and get everything going. And then I would have to catch a, at least a couple hours nap a day. And I think I 
part might be part of what my problem is, is I've worked that split shift for so many years. And then uh, when I wasn't doing that, I did work a factory for a while. I worked the third shift. And what I do when I'm the third shift is so I'd have some kind of a little life. I would get off at seven o'clock in the morning and uh, I would sleep till about, you know, nine or ten. Get about three or four hours sleep, maybe. And then when I get in from work, I mean, then I get up and I'd be with the kids and Mariah and stuff. Cause my shit, I think was like from 11 to seven. Anyway, so at, at night time, I'd try to lay down about seven or eight o'clock and get a couple hours sleep. And my whole life's been like that. So any, Ain't no wonder my sleeping schedule is always messed up. It will forever be messed up. But I've always been a very high energy person, and that's helped me out a whole lot. And, you know, I've got this bad foot. I can't stay on my legs very long at a time without getting in really bad pain. So I sit a lot, and that's part of my problem with my weight. I'm gaining weight, and that's hard to control. And the last two weeks... Now, two weeks ago, I'm, I weighed myself, and I was at 243. Now, I know that's a pretty big boy, but remember now, at one time, I was 298. So, I was 243. Now, I have not weighed myself, but I have been too lazy to fix my lunch, and I've been stopping and getting fast food. And I, I just know I've done gain another 10 pounds. I guarantee you I'm about up to 255. You can gain weight fast eating fast food. So anyhow, enough of my jaw and I do have a lot to do. Y'all come along with me. Keep me company. Give me a little bit of encouragement. I'd really appreciate that. And let's figure out what time Sunday night that we want to talk to one another. Okay. The reason I'm doing that is because you know, I've always enjoyed the comments. And I know there's a lot of people not commenting like they used to. Maybe it's because I read it on the air. I don't know what it is. But I really enjoy the comments. Of course, I know it, it's a difficult. Uh, I I don't comment on a handful of you guys' um, videos, and you know that. It's because most of my viewing is on the TV. And to comment, I had to start my phone up. And get in there and, and comment. Because I don't watch my videos on my phone. I watch them on my TV. So anyhow, I do understand. Don't worry about the commenting. But Sunday night, I want it to be our time, folks. Okay? Sunday night, I want us to sit down at 8 or 9 o'clock. Y'all, let me know what time you can join in. And, you know, if you can't join in, yeah, I know. We're busy. Me and Mariah, we've been wanting to do these lives for a long time, and we have not had time to do them. But, you know, it's really important to me. I want to. And so, y'all, let's figure out when we can. And, of course, this is going to be the majority. But let's see when most of us can sit down and say, okay, Sunday evening, I'm done. Saturdays are maddening for me. Sunday is, is my day where I really don't do much except maybe a little garden, go to my worship service, things like that. That's my Sunday. So I thought, you know, Sunday be the best time. And cause I work outside Sunday, uh, I work outside in my garden and stuff and literally until dark. I'm, I'm outside. So I figured, well, eight, nine o'clock, nine o'clock might be better for me if I can stay awake. But y'all let me know. And I know I keep rattling on. I keep saying, okay, I got to go. So I'm going to go. Have y'all ever heard of those subliminal messages or whatever? Yeah, they, back in the 70s, they saying that some commercials or something other was putting that in. So uh, I probably shouldn't warn y'all about this. But I'm going to put the subliminal messages in here. Okay. Say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe like and subscribe now I've already said like and subscribe that's my fourth time now I'm playing it backward okay and it was mine nice or something the arc to sneak out this year of it the arc to sneak out the arc to sneak out the arc to sneak out this 
So don't forget, like and subscribe. <laughs> share. 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 And I've also heard that people like to watch mind-numbing shows. I think I got the most mind-numbing show there is. The mulch yard. There's Jason. Okay, we're done. We mulched that out there. All the way down to here. There. This is why I got the mulch earlier. Right here. I didn't dig, get, dig the ditches. Uh, like Carl usually does. But, uh, it looks pretty good. And out there. I was going to blow it off, but he, he pushed it back with a broom. I guess that is better. Looks good, those guys, don't you think? We barely had enough. Arthur, I thank you. Very generous tip. It was not expected. But I appreciate it. Going to eat my salad now, okay? It is 2.39. <clears throat> I got through with the mulch job. Took me a little bit longer than I wanted it to, <clears throat> but I look good. And uh, so now I'm going to sit here and eat my salad, and then I'm going to go get my mower and mow a yard. And uh, that's probably all I do today. I'm going to go home maybe and uh, wait for Matt or get a little rest. Then wait for that if he ain't home already. And him and I will go and um, we'll work out together tonight. Like I say, Mariah's with the grand chicken. Having herself a ball. I want to do a little bit more today, but I ain't going to. They ain't None of the other people is in a hurry for any of that stuff, so we're in good shape. So uh, I'm going to sit here and <clears throat> watch videos on YouTube and eat my salad. We'll talk to y'all later. The other side of the mountain, Carl and Rachel. Y'all's right there the way the phone's pointing. Y'all's on that other side. Hope you enjoy my side of the mountain. Well, it is 8.28. And uh, I'm afraid I disappointed my boy. He thought I was a lot stronger than I am. And I was at one time. But I ain't no more. And uh, 
Well, he went in there and he was lifting 80 pounds. I told him to give me the 20s. I mean, I don't know if I don't have the strength, don't have the will, or it hurts. I don't know. But I do know that I'm going to keep going and I do hope I do hope to build up to where I can do a, a little bit more than I can. Honestly, what I want to do, what I'm hoping to do, is to try to keep from... I want to work... I want to work come 70. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Because it's, it's getting kind of difficult. It's, you know, I'm not getting any stronger so I'm going to try to take some supplements and stuff and try to build up because and things are getting heavier for me I don't know you know I just don't know I just don't know how, how I'm going to if I'm going to be able to to really build or not or if it's if it's going to be more effort than it's worth I do know that I tried his leg machine, and it hurt my back. It hurt everything on me. So I don't want that. So anyhow, you guys, this is going to be it. Remember, if I haven't mentioned it, Sunday night, I want to have a live. Everybody come in and introduce yourself, and we'll talk and ask questions. And I'm going to read some of your comments because... I don't get to read all the comments on all the videos, and I want to, because uh, the video gets so long, so I just thought, you know, I'd just like to have a live where we discuss the uh, any kind of questions or anything that people may have. That is, I want, I really want the live for that reason. Anyways, I'm here at the house. Y'all, thank for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a beautiful evening, and uh, I hope to see you again tomorrow.